Hey guys and gals, this is Cyanic Arrow, and I'm back with the WZ-111 Model 1-4 Tier 9 Chinese Heavy Tank. And this guy is pretty cool. Um, so let's take a look at the stats. It's got 1,850 hit points, it weighs 45.7 tons, it has a 600 horsepower engine, and a speed limit of 50 kilometers per hour. And this guy moves pretty fast. It's basically uh, based on Russian tanks, so it's going to be fast and with a big gun. Uh, the hull armor is 120 millimeters, and the turret armor is 230. Side of the tank has 80 on the hull, 120 on the s on the uh, turret, and then the back of the tank is 60 and 60. You're going to notice that there is a Piked shape over here. The tier eight actual, uh, um, sorry, the tier eight version of this tank has a huge pike on it, massive. It's it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, I don't actually, I haven't bought it yet, and I probably won't. I'm going to be showing off the tier nine and ten tanks on the uh, of the new tanks. So it does have a sort of pike nose, and it is pretty armored. I have bounced quite a few shots but the lower plate here is not as angled as um, you would hope. So that's pretty much where you're going to shoot if you want to penetrate this guy. Cannon. Tier 10 cannon. Let's see. Tier 10 cannon, yes. It has an uh, average penetration of 244 millimeters and average damage of 490. That's pretty good. 0.4 accuracy and a 2.9 second aiming time. So I put on uh, a Hans Gunling Drive uh, large caliber tank gun rammer, a must for all these uh, large caliber cannons, and a ventilation. I'm not sure if I want vertical stabilizers or not. I have put on 30 rounds of AP, 7 premium rounds, and 3 HE. I have never fired premium or HE out of this gun. It's just that awesome already. Uh, now I do have a hundred percent crew. I bought that, and I'm not gonna do any training because I'm just gonna. This is a test server, and I'm just gonna be playing a few games in this guy. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think that's about it. 400 view range, 750 signal range. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, and that's the same on the tier nine and ten Chinese tanks all around. Uh, so let's get into a replay. And here we are on Erlenberg with the WZ-111 Model 1-4. One now you can see um, it's a little bit funky on the replay, however, the speed of this tank is pretty good. Well, it's about average for um, heavy tanks, but I am driving on slopes and not flat ground. So here we are, flat ground, I'm going about 50 and here I'm showing you the amazing gun elevation of the Chinese tank, which sort of makes up for the absolutely terrible gun depression. The uh, Chinese tanks, both medium and heavy, have maybe 5 degrees of gun depression. Not very much. Whoa! <laughs> 12254. Oh, and right over my head. <coughs> now, oh, and this is new to me. These guys have uh, pretty good hiding spots. They can drive up there pretty much no problem. Now, as this is a pike nose design, I'm trying to keep the front of my tank aimed at the enemy. Oh. And, uh, he's probably gonna die. Yeah, there we go. Back to that tier 9, who doesn't seem to be caring about me too much. Oh, now he is. Now, I guess I should have aimed for its weak point right there, but... Uh, I was curious to see if I could penetrate the front. Now I'm taking careful aim. Do a ton of damage. Uh, probably in sync with um, some other guy. 
and before I can test out the armor versus a tier 9 tank destroyer, he's dead. So now we got uh, the tier 9 American medium tank with the oscillating turret. I'm being shot a bunch of times right now. That AT-15A is the British uh, tier 7 premium tank destroyer. And it has a huge arc uh, for its gun. But it is a tier 7, so... No match for me. I I'm pretty sure he actually penetrated me though. So, uh, I guess that's a pretty good gun. It's just not suited for firing at tier 9s all the time. Here's a lion. No problem. Uh, looks like the enemy team has is cleaning up the rest of our team on the north side. Uh, so we're gonna try and hurry it along a little bit, get across the bridge. Thankfully this line did not die blocking the way, and I'm stuck on the railing somehow. There we go. Now that I'm off the railing, I start moving a bit faster. Alright, so there's a WZ uh, something or other going up on that hill. The 120, there we go. Front of the tank to the enemy. Oh, I didn't get shot and I couldn't get a shot off either. But that's okay. Uh, going up hills is not too much of a problem with the Chinese tanks, much like the Russian tanks, because of their higher speed. Uh, they don't have too much problems. Oh, oh. Alright, so I bounced a shot there. Let's see, he's gonna go around, so let's see if I can't cut him off. And there's a mountain or hill in my way. Oh, he's tracked. There we go. Get that last shot in. And continue looking for the enemy. Okay, so the tier 7 light tank is on over on our side of the base. Which leaves the tier 9. What is that? An M103. wonder where he is. Probably not hiding back over there. Oh no, he's over there. Can I get a shot in? Nope. There's a house. Alright. Let's see if I can't get into a better position. How about now? Yes. And well, somebody's already taken a shot at him. And I take the finishing blow. So that's uh, a win. Pretty good tank. I like, kind of like it. And let's take a look at the stats. 1,007 experience. Uh, that's class 2. Uh, 5 kills. I was hit a bunch of times. Uh, let's see, I managed to do 12 damage to an ally for, I don't know, uh, I wasn't really paying attention to what happened. Uh, 9 shots fired, 9 shots hit. I made 24,000 credits on premium, 10,000 uh, on a non-premium account. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching. Please press that like button and leave some comments. I'll see you guys in future videos.